Hi friends, welcome to RNS. In today's video, we will talk about Suzuki's latest sedan, Suzuki Desire 2017. The company launched this car on 16 May and has been well received by customers and experts alike. Let's have a look at the car's features and how it stands the tests of the current time. First of all, the car has been rebranded from Suzuki Swift Desire to Suzuki Desire. So if you are talking about the 2017 version, it should be mentioned as Suzuki Desire. The car employs the 5th generation B platform that is available in Maruti Bellino as well as Maruti Ignis. This creates a striking difference from Desire's outgoing previous model as its curb weight is reduced by 105 kgs while the fuel efficiency is increased. Looking at the safety standards, the latest version of the car is safer than the previous version. The car comes with dual airbags, ABS with EBD and ISOFIX style seat mounts, side impact and pedestrian safety regulations. The wheelbase is also increased and the overhangs are reduced, which offers a lot more cabin space. But though the car is wider than before, its ground clearance is less than what it used to be previously. The car also has 15-inch diamond cut alloys, which add to its imperial look and stability. The dashboard layout looks wonderful with a dual-tone black and beige color scheme. Going by the exteriors, the car has LED projector headlamps, LED DRLs and LED tail lamps which are larger than before. The boot space is now 376 litres compared to 370 litres with the previous version. It also has ORVM integrated turn signals and a polygonal front grille with chrome outline. Chrome fitments are also found on the door handles, gear knob and instrument cluster. The entertainment panel looks great and is on the lines of Bellino, Brezza and Ignis. It also has a touchscreen and an infotainment system which can be connected to Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and Mirror Link. Other aspects of this infotainment system are day and night IRVM, automatic climate control, rear aircon vents, rear seat armrests and electrically adjustable ORVMs. The petrol variant is a 1.2 litre unit and uses the same K-series petrol unit as before with 82 bhp and 114 Nm of peak torque while the diesel one employs the 1.3 litre DDIS unit with 73 bhp and 190 Nm of peak torque. Engines for both variants come mated to a standard 5-speed gearbox and an optional 5-speed AMT unit as well. The transmission is again a standard 5-speed manual unit with the option of automatic transmission available in both variants. The hardtech platform makes zip drive better than before. Although the manual diesel version is an exception in this case and the petrol version 105 kg is lighter. This has helped increase the vehicle's fuel economy with the petrol version offering a mileage of 18 to 22 km per litre and the diesel version offering 24 km per litre to 28.4 km per litre. This makes it among the most fuel efficient cars present in India today. The car is available in 6 colour options, the all new Oxford Blue, Sherwood Brown and Gallant Red and the tried and tested Magma Grey, Silky Silver and Arctic White. The pricing of the car, distributed among its 8 variants, 4 each for petrol and diesel, is set between 5.45 lakhs and 9.41 lakh. Its direct competitors are Honda Amaze, Hyundai Accent, Ford Aspire, Volkswagen Amio and Tata Tigor. According to our test drive experience, the drive is smooth with the petrol version the gear shifting is quick and the fuel efficiency is quite impressive. Although the diesel version is slightly noisier at higher RPMs, it gives the driver a sense of control and is best experienced when the transmission is set to manual. All in all, this car is the best buy in the sub 10 lakh range with so many variants, color options, great design and to top it, great fuel efficiency. Just like this video, comment on it, share it and subscribe to our channel.